This river is home to one of America's scariest cryptids, the Frogman. In 2016, this footage of what is claimed to be the Frogman was captured at Lake Isabel in Loveland, Ohio. Many locals regarded this footage to be proof that the legendary Frogman was in fact real. The story of this infamous cryptid dates all the way back to 1955. 1955. A businessman was driving on a road near the Little Miami River in Loveland, Ohio when he spotted four three-foot-tall frog-faced creatures on the edge of the road. As the man's car approached the creatures, one of them is said to have held a wand that shed sparks out of the end. After this first sighting, the creature would be seen a handful of times over the next 60 years and would force many to ask the question, is the Loveland Frogman real? So we decided to travel to Loveland, Ohio ourselves to visit the actual locations where the Frogman was seen and try to prove once and for all if the Frogman is real or fake. All right, so we're here at the uh, Lower River Road, Little Miami State Park. This is where in May 1955, a local businessman was driving down this very road when he saw the first ever sighting of the infamous Frogman. As you can see, there's a main road back here. The businessman would have came up onto this Was that? Dude, that was like freaking Hold branches up. being like. Dude, something just crashed right here. And that's in the middle of the woods. Nobody can be back there. Dude, we just started. No, dude, there's something there. It could be the frogman. Should we go down there? I don't know if we can. Frogman? That was like a knock on wood, dude. I don't even know what to do, man. I did not expect that to happen, whatever that loud crash was. That was like louder than like what a human multiple humans could make in the woods i know dude that was like, yeah, it was like <laughs> it's not known which road that the businessman was traveling on but based on many accounts he was just driving on one of these roads that are smaller and in the woods and here's one of these old roads in this town this is not a trail this actually is a road and then he also saw them go into the river after he was done spotting these figures and the river's right there so based on all the context of the story this is where the sighting took place. Who makes up a story of seeing a giant frog and then multiple other people see it as well? Yeah, I mean, well, it's kind of crazy. Hey, dude, him. look at that. If it, if it was really right here, there's a massive sewer pipe. So, I mean, dude, that could be a perfect place of hiding for uh, yeah. a supposed frogman. Do you want to try to get there? Yeah. Let's look into real the quick. sewer pipe. Yeah, let's go real quick. All right, I'm going to be the frogman. Ready? This is what they did on one of the sightings. Jumped over the railing. Parkour. Frogman! If I fall, I'm throwing the camera to you, okay? Yep. You could be watching my death, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a good idea. Because you're going to fall in the water. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm parkour master. Oh, bro. What does it look like? It's just huge and empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Hello? Uh, 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 How do you know uh, they make that? What if they just talked normal? Well, he was like, what's up, Smalls? He's like, I'm Frogman. I'm Frogman. There's nothing in there. Yeah, no. I mean, I do see how if you were driving on this road late at night, you might believe that maybe you did see a Frogman. But what's weird about sighting number one is the man is unnamed and the road is unnamed. So we're kind of just guessing here. But after this, going with sighting number two and three, it gets a lot more in depth deep, and it gets a lot more real. Let's go up the river and go to this next sighting, which is much more credible than the one we're currently investigating. What's crazy is that sighting number two is actually sighting number three as well. Let's go up there and see what we can analyze and find. Almost 20 years had passed since the first reported sighting of the Frogman and no one had seen it since. That would all change, however, on March 3rd, 1972, when a police officer was driving down Riverside Drive in Loveland, Ohio. Upon reaching a bend in the road, the officer saw a four-foot-tall, frog-faced humanoid creature standing next to the guardrail. But before the officer had time to react to what he had just seen, the creature jumped over the railing and scurried back down into the Little Miami River. Sighting number two. We're here. Yep, we're, we're at it. We're at it right now. So this one's a lot more credible because this one was spotted by police officers as they were driving down this road right here, just like that car. The only details that we know of where this might have happened is that they were driving on Riverside Drive, which is now Riverside Avenue. Do you have a road sign here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay. We're here, I promise. I promise we're here. Guys, <laughs> we're here. I'll show you. I'll show you on a map. This is Riverside Drive. Well, it's Riverside Avenue now. But yeah. So here's the guardrail, and now we are going to see if we can find the frogman. Here we go. I could see how someone could very well see something right here. And as it jumps back in, you might mistake it for something else. Yeah, exactly. I could see that. But, I mean, that is a very, you can't see, but the river is about 60 feet down. 
This is a very steep embankment right here. Obviously, we're at the second sighting of the frogman, but this is also the third sighting. Yeah, so after the first policeman saw the frogman for the first time, a second policeman named Mark Matthews came to the exact spot where the first police officer saw it and described what looked like scratching on... Yeah the roadside. Two weeks after the first officer reportedly saw the frogman, Officer Mark Matthews was driving near the same spot when he spotted a large creature with leathery skin laying on the edge of the road. Officer Matthews quickly stopped his car and approached the creature when it suddenly lunged at him. Matthews then pulled his weapon, shot the creature, and watched as it locked eyes with him and crawled back over the guardrail and into the Little Miami River. And look right here, bro. Yeah, yeah there's an open spot. There's a little clearing. Hey, there's, there's something right here, bro. There's something right here. Hold on, there's something here. There's something here. Landscape mulching cleanup. Come on. <laughs> Dude, I actually almost fell backwards. Jesus Dead Christ. Ass. Oh yeah, we should look for scratch marks, even though this is probably not the same railing as 73. Later on, Mark Matthews actually, they asked him about his encounter, and he actually changed his story. He changed his story from the original one that he put into the police records, and changed it to no, all I saw, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Okay, what would actually- some over here too. What the f How could you actually do that? Yeah, that, okay, yeah, for like, real. Like, if I try to bend that, it's not moving. All jokes aside, that is, Eighth inch thick metal. There's that, 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 that. Dude, look. And it's in one spot. If this was like a three foot tall frogman and I'm right here, right? I see a car and I freaking, and these things are said to be strong too. If I jump over and I go, Gah! yeah, it could rip it. If it just jumped over it like this and went, <sighs> like that's, that's just metal. This might be evidence of the frogman. Uh, it's not definite proof, but it is interesting. It is very interesting when you consider how tough this metal is and how deep and cut that metal is on this railing. So spot two and three, dude, that is kind of crazy. I didn't expect to find any evidence in this video whatsoever, but we actually might have found something kind of insane. The next spot that we're going to be going to has the first and only documented physical proof of the Frogman. It's time to go to the fourth sighting in the Frogman lore. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Okay, we've now made it to stop number four. Now, this is the big stop of this video. This is the only Frogman sighting out of the four sightings that has actual video and picture proof, and it was taken right here. This is Lake Isabel. We're just south of Loveland, but we're gonna go down and see if anybody has anything to say about the Frogman. Yep. So as we come down, we're also gonna be trying to look for exactly where this footage might have been taken from. If you look right here, there's some leaves in the corner, and uh, you can see the ripples are all coming this way. So I could assume that the shoreline's like this, and there might be some leaves right here. It definitely looks like it's from a higher vantage point because they're kind of looking down at it. Dude, what if... Come here, man. Come here. Look, I mean, that looks pretty close. I think this might actually be the spot where this footage was taken, dude. I think we know our spot for when the sun sets, but on the way back, let's see if any of these locals know anything about the uh, frogman. Okay. Movie or yeah, we're making a video. We're making oh. a documentary about the frogman. Oh, okay. Have you heard about the frogman? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard Have you seen him or anything or no, heard anything? I, I heard it, just heard it. Well, there we go. People in the town know about the Loveland lore. Hey, we're making a documentary about the Loveland Frogman, and we're just kind of, we're, we're asking around to see who all has heard of it and what they think about it. I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah? You guys think it's real? Yeah. Our mayor thought it was real. Really? Probably about 10 years ago, we had a party, and he came as the Loveland Frogman. Really? The mayor did? Yes. That's awesome. We're gonna see if we uh, encounter something. Encounter something. We'll be here all night, so if you do, yeah, send him our way. <laughs> okay, sounds we're good. Not. Awesome, thank you. We're not afraid. <laughs> well, there we go. Double confirmation, two out of two of people who know about the Loveland lore. Frogman seems like a cool guy, I gotta be honest. Hold on. There was a cop back in the day. He was new. He was going the back road on the right hand side. It came across the road. He told the police officers about it, and they laughed him out of the the force you need to look that up really yeah upon further research into officer mark matthews we found that in 2016 following the viral video of the frogman captured at lake isabella by a couple playing pokemon go started to circle around the internet he actually changed his story mark matthews now claims that the entire story was a hoax and that the creature he had shot was simply an escaped pet iguana from a nearby home when asked why he shot the creature if it was merely an iguana officer matthews said quote i knew no one would believe me so i 
I shot it, end quote. Matthews even claims that he brought the iguana back to the station to show the other officers as proof of what they had seen two weeks prior. When asked why his story changed, Matthews said, quote, it's a big hoax. There's a logical explanation for everything, end quote. However, this changed story doesn't prove or disprove the fourth and final sighting in the Frogman lore. And unlike the others, this sighting has actual video and photo proof. So once the sun set, we went to try to capture our own footage of the Loveland Frogman. Here we are. That would, there's the branches and the trees and the, and the uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And then maybe the frogman was right there in the water. This could be the spot where they filmed. You got the leaves, got the fishing poles. So that's the image. We could be looking right here. So that's, we could be standing right yeah. here. I'm gonna film, since he filmed on an iPhone, let's film on the iPhone then. Let's turn off all of our bright flashlights. Okay, so all of our lights are off, so it's the same exact lighting as it would have been. Noah just has the night vision camera. And let's see what we can get here. There's that light down there. What light? Oh, across? Whoa, over there? Yeah, it just went away. Yeah, it's gone. What was it? I don't know. I just did tried, you, to, I tried to zoom in on it. Did you get it on camera? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. Okay, I'm gonna film. All right, we are rolling. Frogman? There was a bright light over there and it's gone, dude. Yeah, I saw it. I got it on video too. I literally got that on video. There's no one over there. No. There's no one over there. Well, if I'm filming here long enough, I'm not seeing anything. Except for when I pan over there, and I am seeing lights over there. Now, whether or not that would be, I don't think that would be mistaken as the frogman, though, just because it was in the water. It was super close. Also, if we were this close to the water, though, it was three to four foot tall, you'd think you'd be poking out of the water more. I don't believe it was a hoax. I really don't. It doesn't seem like it would be, but, oh, light, 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 light. It's on again. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm zoomed in. What is it? I have no idea. It's not moving at all. Whoa! Oh, no. What? There's people over there. Yeah, you can see him clearly. Okay. Well, that'll be that'll debunk that then. Debunked. But we tried to capture it. There's no frogman here. That's where it would have been. What the? What, the? what just kablunked? Dude, it was all the way out there. Okay, let's go see if we see ripples. What was that kablunk? What the? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There are people fishing, but that was... I don't know. I'm not a fisher guy. Here's the problem, right? There's a lot of people out here. Whoa, what's out in the water? Look at the water. It's glowing. What is that? What? Here, look, zoom in. It's in the water. Right there. Wait, wait, wait. See it? It's in the water. Look, it's flashing. Look. There's a car next to it. That's... Dude, that's, it's not across the... That's There's in, people over there. It's in the water. What is look it? Look at it. There's a person. What is it? Is it a boat? It's just a lantern, I guess. I don't see any frogmen today. I just see a lot of people. No, no frogmen lore found today. We have one piece. We have one piece of evidence that that's, could be. That's the only bit. So, guys, so comment down below: Is the Loveland Frog Man real or fake? Did we find proof? Let us know what you think. And um, guys, for the time being, I'm Jake. I'm Noah. And we are the Spirit Stalkers. If you want to see another crazy cryptid video, go watch this video right here, where we went to West Virginia to look for the Flatwoods Monster.